Hey, I'm Nicolette Amarius, and I'm a movement and posture specialist and a strength coach. And today I wanna to go over a modified Cuban press. Now a Cuban press is normally used in a strength training environment. It's a great exercise to help improve the strength of the shoulders and encourage more mobility. You can use it with dumbbells normally, but today I wanna to do it body weight, and I wanna use it more as like an activator or an exercise that helps open up the shoulders and engage the back side of the body or like the upper thoracic to help create more mobility there, more strength, improve posture, the list goes on and on. We'll be in like a hinge position to help encourage that movement. So I wanna show you standing, and then I'll show you to the side, okay? So we'll be feet hip distance and knees soft because we just want a healthy lower body. And then think about tucking in the hips a little bit just so we get a little bit of that glute engagement, but you're pretty much tall and upright. Now, as far as the body from the hips up, we're thinking collarbones lifted, collarbones are lifted, chest is open and core is drawn in. Now we start the movement with arms at the side, the palms facing back. We're gonna go elbows straight up. Now this is the hardest part. If you have a lack of mobility in the shoulders, you might stop here because we don't wanna go so high that the shoulders start to come forward. So this is about you knowing what your body needs and how far you can go. So we come up, think about your hands just hanging out. They're just relaxing, okay? And they're right underneath the elbows. From here, we're gonna pop the palms up, keeping the elbows right where they are. So elbows stay right where they are. And then we press up overhead, shoulders stay down away from the ears. We reverse it, elbows come down like you're doing a lat pull down. From here, elbows stay where they are. Rotate forward, but keep the shoulders back and the chest open and then extend down. Okay, so that's the movement. Let's try it in this hinge position. So feet, hip distance, knees soft, hips come back so that your torso comes to about 45 degrees. Now we have a nice straight spine, which means we're not in extension and we're not in flexion. So try and find a nice strong straight spine, just a tiny baby arch in the low back, a little stretch in your hamstrings, keep the core drawn in and keep the shoulders back and the chest open. If you're in flexion, this movement is gonna feel impossible. Literally, when I'm shrugged, this is how my movement looks. I can't even reach up. So we have to make sure to open up the upper body. That way we actually get in that range, okay? So let's do the same movement. Same thing here. We're gonna go elbows wide, about shoulder height, arms and hands, the lower part of the arm and hands hang out. They're right underneath the elbow. Underneath the elbow. Squeeze between the shoulder blades, stay engaged. Squeeze between the shoulder blades, bring the hands up. Whew. Keeping the elbows where they are. You might not be able to come up as high. This might be where you stop, that's okay. Only come up as high as you can. From here, extend slow, keeping the shoulders down away from the ears. Ooh, I feel the work all along the scapulas, the shoulder blades, and then I'm reversing. Elbows come down, elbow shoulder height, drop the hands, Whew. drop the arms. We'll do it again. Elbows come up, squeeze the shoulder blades, constant tension and engagement between the shoulder blades. Keep the elbows up, 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 up. Hands come up, only as high as you can. Arms straighten, press overhead. Ooh. Elbows come down, hands down, arms down. One more, elbows up, squeeze between the shoulder blades. I feel so much work along my scapula, so the muscles that cover my shoulder blades, the tops of my shoulders, even my core. <sighs> Dropping down and extend. Oh my gosh. So what we're feeling here, ton of work here, and this is what we want. I want you to feel engagement through the upper part of the body on the back side. Again, limit the range of motion depending on what you need and what's comfortable. Just know that with practice, your range of motion will get better and better, especially if you have injury there. Again, always work in a range of motion that's comfortable for you today. Every day is gonna be different. Now, when you come back to this, you could do it daily. I would do 10 reps. Any more than that tells me you're not engaging enough. Like you should be pretty tired after like eight to 10 reps. Try it out and I hope you enjoy.